All right, we are doing the front and rear differential fluid on my 2022 Jeep Diesel Rubicon Gladiator. We're right at 15,000 miles, so it's kind of premature, but we're going on a long trip and we did a bunch of work in Moab. So here you have a fill port. There is no drain bolt on the front diff. The rear has a fill and a drain, but the front one does not. So we're gonna undo all the bolts. It looks like it has a metal gasket. We're gonna do all the bolts, take the cover off with the fluid drain, put it back on, uh, fill it through there. So these are 10 millimeter bolts. We're gonna undo all of them, take this loose, undo all of them, take it off. So 3 8 ratchet will take your cover off. I don't have any fluid coming out. I can see fluid in there, so. There's your fluid. We got all the bolts out. Oh, that works. So it has a gasket you can use. That's the electronic locker. That's really good. No debris on the bottom. going back in together so I put the metal gasket back on and then the cover loosely put all the bolts on and this is the torque sequence one two three four five six and we are torquing it down to 15 foot pounds 20 newton meters and then we're gonna rotate it another 20 degrees so I'm gonna go through and tighten them all to uh, 20 new meters and then I'm gonna go get my other torque stick that does angles and do 20 degrees So if you want to do it all with one step on 3 8 Torque wrench that I use for, for a lot of things and this does This does do um, angles so Angle so I'll Set the angle so you can set it for 20 degrees. So we'll use that so I'm gonna go through, torque them all the sequence, and then we'll get the angle. Now we're doing the final torque sequence of 20 degrees, and we're gonna do our torque pattern. Front takes about one liter, and the, um, the rear takes about two. Got ends oil, severe gear, and we're gonna put that in there. Fluid pusher. Wait for it to start coming out. It's getting there. And there she comes. She's coming out. All right, so we got that on. Started that by hand, and that's gonna get torqued to 25 foot pounds. Uh, where are we? Differential fill plug, 25 foot pounds. All right, coming down to the rear. Rear is a lot easier. You have a fill hole here and a drain bolt right there. So you don't have to pull the cover off and make a mess. So we're gonna undo this drain bolt. So this is 15,000 miles. Definitely do, right? Definitely do, right? We're gonna start filling it up a little bit and we're gonna let some of the new fluid run out to kind of wash off any residue. The drain bolt does have a pickup magnet on it, so make sure you clean that off and put it back in the right spot. Don't put it in the top hole or anything. It's up at the shop called D70. It is a it's basically like a spray truck. Clean the surface. starts leaking, you'll see it. 
so we'll come back in a little bit when it's all dry. It up, put the drain plug back in after we start having it come back drain out. Plug 25, fill plug 25. So 25 foot pounds in both the drain and the fill. Let's torque that down. So to summarize, I ordered six of these um, one quart bottles and I didn't need to use two of them. And this one, this one I used probably a quarter of. If you're to do this, buy four of these. Four of these bottles would do both diffs. And that's, you know, being messy like me, going overboard. So, this is drying, no leaks. We're gonna have some out. Gonna clean up the rear diff. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more content, more maintenance, more mods, more um, overlanding stuff. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.